good morning everyone yeah very good morning shall we begin the session yeah in the last class we have started with or we are we are starting with the revision of designing project designing evaluation what are the various project evaluation what are the various techniques that is followed up in the designing what are the various phase by which we can follow the designing that is uh, that is used in the designing part that is used in the recruitment part so whatever the resources whatever the prices that is developed so that is used with the project designing development evaluation why we are using the project development how it is used and why it is used so uh, chapter name is or the topic name is or the module name is designing the education projects how to design the education projects this is a comprehensive approach to need assessment, project planning, implementation, and the evaluation. This is also the approach that is used. This is the acknowledgement. These are the various table of the content. First one is the introduction that we have discussed already. So we are starting with the part number one, need assessment, that we have already started. What is the need assessment? How it is going to carry it out? How to serve the people? Then uh, first one is the planning, that is about how to plan the things, how to plan out the various materials. So Planning includes step number one, set the focus, refine the issues, and identify the stakeholders. So whatever the, but yeah, what's over, what's over the goal, what's over the aim. So set the focus, set the goal, refine the issue, what's over the issue, that is the refining the issues, and also identify the stakeholder. Identify, identify the stakeholder in the sense, whosoever the person that is responsible for this one, whosoever the person that is included in the company, that is included in the planning, that is known as a stakeholder. So set the focus what is the main focus what are the various issues what are the various challenges that is faced then but who are the persons that is involved that is who are the stakeholders or the stakeholder that may be a single person that may be a multiple persons and once the overall purpose of the need assessment is established the stakeholders the range of the individual including the audiences regarding the including the potential partners decision maker sponsors with the vested interest in the issue or process are identified are carried out and the permissions to conduct the need assessment is also secured and a decision maker who should receive the result of the need assessments are also identified so what's over the result what's over the identifying procedure that is used with the need assessment that is used with the recorded material then step number two is establish the planning team how to establish the planning team so a basic principle behind conducting a need assessment is recognizing that no matter how the knowledgeable and the skilled workers but an education project or the uh, team builder coordinator that you so that does work or does not and cannot work into the project with a complete and the accurate picture of the situation and whosoever the agency staff whosoever the member that is used that is used with the community member that is used with the volunteers partners all stakeholder in the process and process critical understanding that will help focus the need assessment that is how to use a need assessment how to build the need assessment how to get the need assessment and some of these stakeholders may also help to build credibly inside and outside the agency and also assist the team in gaining the access to target audiences and uh, whenever we are forming a broad yet manageable so planning team is very essential why because planning team is very much needed in the step in this part that is in the planning part then why bother with the stakeholders what is the advantage or why we are bothering with the stakeholder what is the advantage of using the stakeholder so we could not uh, note down we could would never have known about it is a common response when education coordinators are asked when what they learn about the stakeholders during the planning during the education and regardless of how education think out about their audience listening to the stakeholder interest listening to the variables whatever the variable whatever the interest that is taken out that is an important task during the planning and need assessment stage that is what is the planning phase what is the need assessment phase that is also important task during the planning and the need assessment stage in one program the overlook stakeholder was the first or the office director that program ran into the real problems when the office director revealed concern over the focus of the program what is the main focus of the program how it is being built how it is being developed so that is also why bother with the stakeholder who bother with the stakeholders then draft a plan for carrying out the need assessment draft a plan means draft out a, uh, we can say the rough idea how to plan out or how to carry out the need assessment so as with any other project the planning of the need assessment can easily spin out of a control spin out in the sense easily carried out with the control 
The desire to be all inclusive, both in terms of the issues and the audiences, that is also become overlapping. And whenever we are recognizing the primary purpose that is used to help the coordinator, help the education instructors, education coordinators, to design appropriate products, so that is draft a plan draft a rough idea about the carrying out the need assessment, how to carry out the need assessment, how it is built and how to define the need assessment. Then step number four is using the top model that is used with the committee, that is used with the CASA, that is the knowledge, attitude, skill, aspirations and also the social, economic and environmental condition with the current or baseline condition that uses with the top model to direct data collection efforts. What are the various data collection efforts that is used? What are the various data collection needs that occurs at the three levels of the top model or top program development staircase? And when we compare with this CASA or the SEE that informs how to, how to identify the program needs. And if there is any discrepancy, that is also informed about the project that also uses about the product. And if possible, baseline data should be gathered from existing sources such as previous program baseline assessment, literature review, project documents, performance measure and so on. And whatsoever the lack of the progress that is used, so that is used in meeting our performance measure, for example, that will be relevant in establishing the future priorities. And if viable, valid and reliable data already exists for a particular aspect of the need assessment for the said data. And on the other hand, if the existing data sources are available, so chances are the project works over the project that is carried out that is served by collecting the data from a range of the stakeholder. Now this is the model, this is the top model to collect the data for the need assessment. One is the social, economic, environmental condition, what's over the environmental condition that is carried out, that is used with this one, that is used with the practices. Then next is the practice and the behavior. What's over the practice that is using out, so that is used with the behavior, that is used with the social, economic and environmental conditions. Then knowledge, attitude, skills and behavior, how the CASA will be used, how, the, how, the, how, how they, we develop the CASA models. Next is gauge the likelihood of the project success through the opportunities assessment. What's over the opportunity assessment, what's over the data that is project that is used, use. so we have to gain the access, we have to gain the success through the opportunity assessment. So while the need assessment helps to identify and determine the scope of the specific condition or the issue, so what's about the opportunity assessment that also says the probability that agency can annihilate that agency can follow. Then step number six, six is define the participants in the need assessment. Who's over the participant that is available? So that material will be used with the defining the participants. So step number six, six is define the participant in the need assessment. What's over the data? What's over the participant behavior that is used in this one? So I've done with the planning phase. Next phase is your, uh, sorry, next step is your design the data collection strategies. What are the various data collection strategies that is used? By this point, we are identifying what are the various proposed participants in the need assessment, why each group is followed up, why each group is followed up and have been selected, how we are reflecting back on the purpose of the need assessment, what are the various key questions that have been developed for each participant group, how we are delimiting the process, how, uh, what, what process will be used with, uh, with the key questions and the appropriate instruments. Now, we have done with the planning, next part is the data collection, how to collect the data, so step number eight is to determine the sampling scheme. So before data collection, we are determining what are the various sampling scheme, how we are going to use the sampling scheme, we can say. Although it might be possible to collect the data from all NOA educators within a specific reason, but it's also a probability that will not realistic to collect the data from every educators in the same same geographical reason. There is no possibility that how we are using to connect the US census every 10 times that is used with the US census that is not able to survey everyone in the population. So we have to do the sample, we have to take out the sample. And what is the sample that is considered as a representative of the population? If every person in the population have equal chance of being selected. For example, if I have a chance that uh, I'm selecting anyone or I'm, I'm going to use anyone, that is also a sample that is considered representative of the population. If every person in the population have an equal chance of being selected. And similarly, the number of the people sampled, that is a sample side, impact of the degree of the sampling errors, 
that is used that are reduced when the sample size is increased or the decrease however when when we talk about the last sample size that is also increased while by, by reducing the error increased time and the other cost whatever the cost that is available then step number nine is design and pilot the data collection instrument design and pilot means first of all we have to take the sample design then pilot pilot means do the pilot testing that is the first time run that is about the questions what we are going to ask about the question whatever the decision that is observed that is where there are various set of the behaviors we have various specific behavior of the interest that must be delimited and when the data collection instrument have been designed it must be or it should be pilot tested what seems to be reasonable, what's clear to the planning committee that makes little sense in the field or to the individuals, whatsoever the individual, whatsoever the little field that is used with the delimited or the misinterpreted. So that should be pilot tested, that should be used with the pilot investment. So whatsoever the data collection that is used, that has been designed, it should be pilot tested. Pilot tested means the uh, what sense testing and what seems to be reasonable and clear to the planning committee that makes uh, little sense in the field or the individuals who are not familiar with the project and pilot testing are highlighted particularly when when there is a, in case of the interviews or the open ended questions and that can also help the education coordinators to describe if the desired level of the data will be collected given the given the question asked and what if any followed with the instruction and finally, the planning committee must determine that the instrument, what's over the instrument, what's over the data, what's over the data that is used, so that instruments are valid and therefore that are used with the various collection of the instrument that are reliable. That means they are ensuring, or we are ensuring that the instruments are measuring what, what they are designed to measure, that is the validity and the measurements are consistent and information on the establishing the reliability, we are, we are relying on the reliability and the validity of the data collection instrument that can be found in, in part number four, that is the data collection instrument. So what's over the data, what's over the data collection method that is used with the data collection strategy. Next one is step number 10, that is gather and record the data. What's over the gathering technique? What's over the recording technique that is you? So one is gathering, one is recording. So first of all, we have to do the pilot test, then we have to gather the data. Gather means gathering the data about the test, about the recorded material. The next one is record. So first of all, gather and then at last record the material, record the collected data. So once the data collection process is over, there is a substantial planning and day-to-day -day management activity that is going to carry it out, that is going to use out. For example, when you talk about the contact information that may be acquired or that may be used with the material. For example, when you talk about the interviews, schedules, surveys, or the return and love that must be used, that must be printed, that must be that must be available with the recorded material with the focus group meetings and the interview times that must be scheduled that must be arranged with with the tape interview or the focus group and you may also find a master calendar helpful that is used to pilot the each and every point whatsoever the point whatsoever the test data that will be corrected that will be collected as a form of the interview that would be collected as a form of the focus group. So whether those collecting data need training to ensure that proper protocols are followed and how the rights of the study participants will be carried out, will be guaranteed. Not only each and every ethical issues that arise due to the confidentiality, informed consent, but also the human subject that is also reviewed, that is also bought by the warranted. So once data is collected, the data will need to be recorded or entered into the appropriate format for the analysis part. And as with each step in the process, care must be given to how the data are handled to preserve the confidentiality and also ensure that the data are recorded accurately. The next one is the data analysis, data reporting and the priority settings so that is used with the step number 11. So the first step is perform the data analysis. We have to analyze the data. We have to do the uh, 
uh, data analysis the type of the data analysis will depend on the both the instrument that is used and the study question that is being answered and some portion of the data analysis may involve a simple uh, telling of the responses numbers of the percentage of how indicating yes or no and in most of the cases however the product however the process that is used that is used with the statistical analysis that examine the relationship and once we have examined the relationship the care must be taken out how the data will be collected how the data will be used so there are multiple modes how the how we are using or how we are gathering the data for the need assessment first one is the telephone then face to face then mail or email so there are multiple provisions by which we can access the data first is the telephone then face to face or either through the emails then step number 12 is determining the priorities and identify the potential resources what is over the potential resources what's over the potential data that must be carried out that must be used with a potential uh, solution determine the priorities and identify the potential solutions so when the data analysis is completed your team is finally in the position to accumulate and result in the terms of the need what's over the need what's over the material that is used that material will be used to accumulate the product accurate the result in terms of the need and now only thing is that only method is that you can systematically describe the discrepancy what's over the discrepancy and know the probability a large number of needs will be identified in this process and the team must also investigate evaluate the list of the identified needs and prioritize them and it is also easy to imagine the priority setting that could become a difficult task for a team difficult use for a team and the variety of the priority setting approaches are available for the planning team to the team members to the decision making to the need assessment that must be evaluated with the two primary sets of the criteria that is the importance and the feasibility an importance can be determined by examining the characteristics such as the number of people affected degree of fit with the organization or the agency goal and feasibility also relate to the characteristics such as the potential efficiency of the project that is designed to address the needs the step number 13 is synthesize the information and create a report we have to synthesize the information we have to create the report last one is then part number 2 is project planning and implementation that we have already and then part number 2 is project planning and implementation how to do the project planning how to do the implementations so introduction is once the need for a project is understood and authorized to the proceed whatever the secured material whatever the data that is used so the planning team faces the task of designing a specific education project that address the need and the project planning also requires an attention to what what might at times seems like a uh, minor school detail while always keeping the big picture in the mind and in the end effort spent in planning an education project well will play off in the ultimate effectiveness what's over the effectiveness what's over the data that is being designed that is being followed up by designing the concepts then planning and implementing an education project so just as we are doing the successful product or project what's over the project that we are using there is a systematic approach that we are following up that must be designed with a systematic approach project design benefits will be used with the planning process with the design process these are the various stages steps that is used in the project and implementation phase So what's over the data? What's over the planning process? That must be carried out. So there are multiple stages that is used. So step number one is release the needs and capabilities. What's over the need? What what is the capability that is carried out? Then establish the project planning team. That is establishing the planning team. That means we have to. we have to carry out the project planning team what is the planning team that is consider then develop the project goals and the objectives what's over the or uh, how
So these are the multiple stages. These are the multiple st uh, stages that is used in the project planning and the implementation phase. Uh, step number one is assess or reassess the needs and the capabilities. Then step number two is establish the project planning team. Then develop the project goals and the objectives. Then develop a logic model. What is a logic model that is used? Then select and characterize the audience. How to first is select and then characterize the audience. What's over the audience? What's over the uh, character size that is used. The next one is establish the program format and delivery system. What is the project format, program format, and what is the delivery system that is established? Then ensure the quality instruction staff. What is the quality instruction staff that is used that is available with the with the, with the data? Then ensure the quality instruction material and the strategies. What are the various quality instruction or instructional material and the strategy? Then assemble the questions, assemble the data that is used, assemble the material, what's over the material, what's over the resources, what's over the facilities that is available. Then plan for the emergencies, what's over the plan that is used. So plan for the emergencies that will be carried out, that will be carried out with the data. So we have to plan for the emergencies, that means we have to carry out the data for the emergencies. Sometimes we can say if there's an emergency, we are planning out in advance. Then step number 12 is implementing a project. Step number 12, we are implementing the project, we are implementing the strategies that is followed up. So implementing a project is last step, that is step number 12. So we are finished with various stages, we are finished with the various introduction of this one, why we are going to use, what, you, what is the main impact of this one, and what is the main impact that is using in developing a logic model, developing a writing a project code, whether we are using the smart, that is a specific, measurable, and available, uh, specific, measurable, audience, relevant, time bound. So these are the various smart objective for the project, that is a specific to the time project, measurable, we can measure the things, then A is the audience, then R is the, R is the relevant and T is the time bound. Specific, measurable, audience, relevant and time bound that also develop within the time frame that is also used. And this is the project load logic model that is used with the input, output and the short term intermediate and long term outcomes, how legal it is a program and how it is used with the project outcome, layout, define methods. There are multiple questions that will be used, so there are multiple issues that must be addressed to the audience assessment, that is the knowledge and the interest, then interrelationship or inter interpersonal relationship, then attitude about the time, attitude about the natural environments. Then next one is the establish the program format and delivering the system, that is next step, step number six, what server the step that is used, then ensure the quality instructional and the instructional staff that is used with the uh, step number seven, that is used as a step number seven, then ensure the quality instruction material that is used for the excellence, that is used for the guidelines. And this also includes for the material, equipment, comfort and amenities and facilities. Then uh, next is the step number 10, ten that the plan for emergency, then promote, market and disseminate the project. Then uh, step number 12 is implement the project. Then next part is project evaluation that is also carried out with the project evaluation that is used with, or that starts with the introduction and what, uh, how to implement that or how to implementing the project evaluation that is carried out with the information gathered that is carried out with the education coordinator that often wants to know how many individual participated in an event, whether participants were satisfied with the logistics or whether the staff members are used with the current data, current members or volunteer that may feel confident in their ability to deliver a particular educational experience and whether these will help education coordinator monitor specific aspect of the project. So evaluation is the specific or the systematic collection of the information about the activities and outcome of the project in order to make the judgment about the project, improve effectiveness or inform the decisions about the future programming about the future concerns. And evaluation also provides the project coordinator with well documented and considered the evidence to support the decision making process.
when participants project improvement by regulation funding improved capacity building clarifying the project theory taking the stock so these are the various 